Hey guys, it's Sarah with Grassroots Evolution, and I'm here to bring you a monthly message for the sign of Aries uh, for January 2021. Keep in mind it's a general message, so take what you feel applies to you and your situation and disregard the rest. But know that time can be fluid, so we may be picking up on a situation from the past, a past life that's uh, kind of has a reoccurring theme in this life and karma we're working through, or a situation that's just kind of entering into your, your energy field or something you're actually dealing with right now. So keep an open mind, my friends, and an open heart throughout this. If I trigger you, if I say something that offends you, I apologize in advance. Um, if this message isn't for you, it's not for you. Just all I ask is you click away with love. But if it is for you, if you're new to my channel and you'd like to see more, please hit subscribe and join the journey with me. It'd be wonderful to have you along the ride. And for all my subscribers, you guys mean the world to me. I love you, love you, love you from the bottom of my heart. I truly hope this resonates. And if it doesn't, check out your moon and your rising sign. See if there's a message there for you. But know that no matter what messages do come through, it's still up to you. Your active free will, baby. The steps you put forward into motion to see the fulfillment you'd like to see and to me that is personal freedom it takes your free will your act of free will your power of doing so before i get into this reading i'm going to call in archangel michael i'm going to call in my team of spirit guides and angels and ask them to guide guard bless and protect myself this reading and any of you who would ask for it to use me as only the most clearest channel with only the highest messages for our highest good okay so hopefully we can hit as many, um, like this message would resonate with most, but if it doesn't, again, it might not be for you, just click away and plug. So this is a message from Life Oracle by Mario Duque, and I'm just going to start off with a little bit of spiritual advice, guys, for the sign of Aries. Oh my gosh, okay, so there's a bunch, a whole bunch. Um, I saw three that I feel were important, I'm going to put the rest before return to my inner temple and put the rest back. The first one that I was hit with in the face when it was upside down is I am free. Guys, you are free. You are free to make the movements and the choices that are right for you, that are best for you, and to keep your best interest at heart here. Um, I'm hearing about movements as well, but there's some really important realities and freedoms that we need to be focusing on right now. And first off, we need to be able to express ourselves fully. So I am free. From now on, I am free of the duality, fear, judgments, and people that prevent me from moving forward on my path to inner peace. Didn't I hear moving forward? So spirit is really asking you right now is the time to move forward. And I'm also seeing that this may be with truth. This will be the truth of who you are, a divine truth. Truths being spoken in your worlds that are going to affect your day-to-day -day living or truths that you or someone else may need to speak or new realizations. So we have, I listen to my heart. The veil of my ego is lifted and a, new, a vision of my new life appears to me. I am focused on my inner growth and I remain steadfast in the energy of love. And this is really, really important because when we hold on to fear, when we hold on to judgments or people that are kind of stopping us from moving forward, we're staying stagnant and we definitely don't feel free. Whether or not we realize the shackles and the confines, we are definitely going to feel it on some level. So I'm hearing like wolf pack for all my members of the wolf pack if you have wolf totem as well this may be really difficult for you just on a soul level because us with the wolf soul i guess i don't know how to put it sometimes i feel like i'm half wolf there's wolf inside me and um wolf guiding me right this idea of being a pack creature but also being able to be the lone wolf there is a very very interesting dichotomy in this idea of wolfness so with that in terms of that duality when we think about being a pack member and a lone wolf we can release the duality that we have that we are either or and can understand that you know what there's a season and time in life and there's lots of reasons why a wolf would go lone and why it would be beneficial to be within a pack just depending on that particular wolf's circumstances and that you know what there are times where that lone wolf might leave because the judgment of their pack is too much to handle and they would prefer to have their freedom so what i'm thinking about is um i have a spirit 
quartz stone with a wolf print in it and that's what I'm seeing this definitely could be time to call in wolf spirit wolf totems for any of you guys who feel like it's yours because you are free you can come back leading the pack my friends the truth is found within me I listen to this divine force that comes from within my inner self when I put aside my controlling mind, I discover all the answers I am looking for. I am in harmony with myself and I welcome the love of God, the power that will guide me towards my fullest shining radiance. And if you see here, this could be God, Source, Spirit, the Divine, whatever words you want to call this powerful entity or this powerful force within our worlds, this is something that we can tap into. And this is also opening up our heart chakra, opening up the connection to love, opening up our hearts, being free of judgment and opening up the places where love can trickle in. I also heard the words fear because when we hold on to duality, judgments, and fear, there's this devil energy. This is this energy that dulls your shine and it's stuff that keeps us in ego. And now is the time like when we focus on our heart and we open our heart, we're dropping that veil of ego because our heart does not know ego our heart feels how it feels and if we tap into that but relieve or release the veils of illusion and um, <clears throat> feelings of people pleasing or wanting to there's a spot here that talks about being in harmony with yourself I feel like sometimes some of us may and there's codependency I'm hearing too may have not wanted to rock the boat right may have denied the truth to ourself because it's a situation that's really difficult could be a lot of different things and I think there's a lot of truth coming out this veil being lifted and even to the power of the magic of who you are forgiveness is the other one that right away stuck out to me and I think that there's a lot of importance here because as we free ourselves from duality, fear, judgments, and people, we now have to let in forgiveness. Forgiveness first off, maybe for the places where we realize that we have imposed our own fears and judgments and held ourselves back. Forgiveness for the people who have been the holding ones back, or even the manipulating, or as I'm hearing even culture, you may be even really prominent right now within a counterculture movement as well as what I'm hearing. but. This is really important for your own inner peace, is to allow forgiveness. I no longer suffer from or struggle with what has been said and done. I bless and am grateful to each soul that I perceive has hurt me, and I realize I release them to their own greater good. My past provides me with the lessons that will help me live the present more fully. I live, I fill myself with a love that is pure and free. And again, coming here from this heart, but where her heart is green, his heart is this yellow, but this yellow pours out. I feel like when you, when you tell the truth, when you see the truth within your heart, and this is Christed energy, this golden one, this is freeing up space to no longer hold on to things that you're not, but opening up space to be who you are. So if I've triggered you from this at all, if I brought up a feeling or emotion or made you feel a certain way, I apologize, but here's how I would say to use it. Take this information, I call it empowered vulnerability because we're being vulnerable with ourselves and we're gonna find out what was it that triggered me? What was my attachment to this? How did it make me feel? And why did it make me feel that? And what can I do right now to stop this from affecting me going forward? How can I create a better future on my day to day by realizing what I need to release? And a lot of it could be judgments that you've put towards things. Again, cultural judgments that you've taken as your own and now realizing, no, that truth is not mine. And the major profound change is happening. You will need to forgive yourself for being the person you needed to be at the time, right? You, we all have to learn lessons in certain ways. So forgiveness. I no longer from struffle. Oh, man. Sorry, I'm going to read it again because I don't remember where I was, guys. I no longer suffer or struggle from that which has been said and done. I bless and am grateful to each soul that I perceive has hurt me, and I release them to their greater good. My past provides me with lessons that will help me live in the present more fully. I fill myself with a love that is pure and free. And I realize I said that twice, but I think it was really important that we're releasing the past. We're releasing the impure thoughts 
things that have kept us and hidden us and kept us in darkness and felt unfree and shackled and chained. We're getting rid of those, my friends. And the power of forgiveness is a really important one to bring you back to an inner temple, to bring you back to a place of peace, self prosperity, feelings of gratitude for the world. And it says, and this is so important. I stop destroying myself through negativity and worry. When we're at peace, that's sort of those things that start to fall away. And I feel like also we may experience a lot less anxiety as well when we're at peace. Today I rediscover my inner self in silence and calmly study the lessons life has provided. I cease to panic and no longer imagine the worst even before something happens. In harmony and light, I return to the inner temple to discover the richness in each step of my life. So this is really important for you guys, I think, because we're coming into alignment with a brand new energy and vibration. So you may be purging a lot, really releasing fears. And I think Spirit's also saying, like, it's time to be grounded. I was guided to bring in a few stones. This is um, black obsidian, so like volcanic glass. It is absolutely gorgeous piece and really really grounding really really protective balancing as well but this would also help release and kind of cleanse negativity and I never wear black on my nails but today was like it's time and there may be for some of you guys you may feel a real need for protection while you're doing this and know that that is okay you can call in your team of light you can call in spirit and um ask to be protected throughout this time and there's also so that is that and this is silver sheen obsidian so it is black obsidian but it has like a just a different sheen to it which is said to be more powerful and more protective and I also was guided today to bring this little piece of pyrite which is like fool's gold but very grounding so I feel like this is really important Aries that you guys are such a, a passionate sign right such a wonderful passionate sign and spring this is what I feel like spring coming into your season the turn of the seasons major events may unfold for you that you're going to want to make sure that you're grounded for it so that you're not burning the candle too quickly. I heard my candle flicker and make a noise when I said that, that it's in for the long haul, right? That it's something that you also I'm hearing like whatever's going to be happening, you're going to be proud of. So I have the Shocker Wisdom Tarot here and the Six of Coins has fallen out. So I'm not going to read reversals today because I've been crazy with my decks and shuffling and I think that I'm not sure if it fell out in the reverse or not, so that's what I'm going to say about it. If there's blocks right now to financial or to feeling gratitude or feeling abundance, this is where that forgiveness will be important because we need to actively work through this stuff. And what I was guided to say to you um, also is some of you may want to research, or not research, but definitely research this, or look up, YouTube has lots of Reiki. Um, things and I think you can look up Reiki for financial freedom, Reiki for forgiveness. These may be things that can also on an energetic level help get things moving. But I heard like don't push yourself or push yourself. I guess it's depending on what that is a duality. If okay, if it's this is what fell out too. You have the Empress. If it's outside your comfort zone, but you know that it would be good for you push yourself to do it. If it's exhausting you though and stealing your energy, don't push yourself. Take it at your own pace and believe in yourself that it's going to be successful. This is a divine feminine energy. It is beautiful, creative and co-created empress, mother earth, mothering energy. Where can you mother yourself? How are you mothering yourself? We may be mothering others. Some of you, it may be time where the six of pentacles in this. I feel like I heard rainbow baby, like some of you may, and just for some of you, some of you may be um, experiencing baby. You may be getting pregnant after a time where it things haven't been so balanced or if you've had a lot of trouble with fertility this may be coming into your time okay so I know I'm picking this up right now um, for January but I feel like coming into airy season coming into that spring like how I felt like this major turn of events there's something that's going to rock your world and it's coming from the heart chakra you're creating 
life. And for some of you, it's life within your body and love within your body. For some of you, it's another amazing opportunity that's going to bring you a well flow of abundance, be it financial or otherwise, or just a lot of gratitude and joy and feelings of worth in your life and doing what you, you enjoy. So if it's a new career path, follow it. Um, pursue your dreams, pursue your goals, release the judgments too and what other people think because if, oh, you have the five of swords in the reverse and it's funny, I wasn't going to read them, but that's important. We need to free ourselves of mental conflict and still, here's the stillness to me as well, is that there's these two individuals I feel like seemingly needing to talk with the stubbornness has put this divide like no I'm not going to there may be something coming up like that where we're, this is about our mental space this is also about our throat chakra let's find out tell me about this thank you that was pretty quick so the devil and the hanged woman in reverse again not reading those in the reverse there could be something stopping you from making a decision. There, this devil energy to me is fear. And we need to release the fear. But I feel like we also need to figure out what is it that's stopping us from making the decisions that are right for us. Because this can be a lot of different things. For, her, for me, this is also her shadow. The light and the dark. This could be those fears and those judgments of worries, what people are going to say, addictions, codependencies, our own stuff within ourselves as well that we have allowed our us, like the self-sabotage, essentially. And it's like this is alluring too. Tell me about the devil, please, with the hanged woman. And I like this. This is a hanged woman. She's almost, to me, coming out of like a chrysalis of some sorts and there is magic unfurling as she's hanging upside down here having time to contemplate the transformation that she's undergoing tell me more about this devil please spirit i heard like what's getting in the way so i'm going to put these ones back but this one fell on its own and it's the king of cups this could be a water sign a cancer pisces or scorpio so there could be um like a lover kind of situation as well here because this is alluring with this cup but sometimes if we get caught in like kind of unhealthy or codependent romantic relationships this cup of love is what keeps us there even though the treatment may not be so good it's because we focus on the good things and we focus on the love and we choose to turn a blind eye to this and there's where it definitely could be blocking decisions to move forward for you and for some of you just this is just what i heard but if you've had trouble getting pregnant in the past it could be because that that partner was not the right partner and i truly believe that spirit um aligns us with the perfect partner to grace us with our children we are meant to have those beautiful little souls in our worlds and i i mean your partners as well are predestined for you at a certain level that this is what you you know this is what you get to create together right you could have had these members of your family in different ways throughout your whole existence because they are family they are soul family and there's soul connections here so really really focus on what you're creating how you're creating how you make other feel other people feel this again could be your mothering it could be with a mother figure to you as well with the king of cups here as well this could be like i heard father figure but um this king of cups i feel like is not as dependable and why i say this with this particular one is because he's got no bottom half he's only top he can't move or do something and he almost seems to be intently staring here but there it seems to be there's like a silence so also with this sort of purpley energy it feels like for me that you are also um i heard like speaking telepathically okay this is just for some of you or have like some sort of spiritual connection with somebody and if it is about baby um this this person if this is what 
you, if you pick up on that. They're definitely here for a reason. Um, okay, two cups. Definitely love, definitely love situation. But I feel like this may be even asking you to love yourself first, okay, with the devil here. To love yourself first, this could also be a Capricorn. Um, funny that I'm just thinking about that now. I'm going to clarify what the zombie tear. Tell me about two cups, please, Spirit. Thank you. The Queen of Swords. So this is a air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It could also be with this hanged woman and the Empress that you really need to come and look at this somewhat emotionally detached because there could be a real strong emotional attachment. If this is not another person, this is you and your energy. It's a lot of energy here and there's a lot of heart space in this abundance that you're building and this removal. I do believe this Five of Swords is because, you know what, it's no longer time to focus on other people and their opinions. It's time to release yourself from mental hardships and anguish about the situation and create change and stop being afraid to create change. This, again, being in reverse, it's like the devil was in reverse saying release the fear and release the fear of getting in your own way or the people that if they're getting in your way, remember that card, that it's time to release them. And you know what? I heard there's this trap. So for some of you, you may be catching someone in a lie, I'm not saying set up traps for people, but that's what she's doing. She's got somebody else's foot here because hell no, you're not going to eat me. I know you're going to come look in and I'm one step ahead of you. And that's what she's got here. She's got sort of like her, her protection. So for some of you, I feel also like spirit may be asking you just to stand your ground, hold your guard up a little bit, be, be wise here. Seek wise counsel as well as what I heard. This two of cups is definitely there's there is air sign quality like we said but i think we have the page of wands this could be somebody offering a very very lucrative and financial option is what i heard even though it's wands something that's very very appealing um could be a younger fire sign a leo aries or sagittarius so it could be you guys it could be you guys kind of taking those first steps towards your passion you've thought it through now you know where you want to go. You can see the vision. And it's time to put those plans into motion. You have the Ten of Wands here in the reverse. And I said I wasn't going to leave reversals. And there we go. It could be that there's a situation. The Eight of Swords came out with the Six of Cups in the reverse. But that Six of Cups, it's because there's still something trapped. There's still a head over heart decision that could have been made here. There is also this um, kind of being cold and detached feeling or could be like feeling like you need to protect yourself so not being very forthcoming with emotions and that could lead people to feel like you're or if this is another person around you take the energy how it applies and know it can be vice versa for any situation um but i feel like within this dynamic you could have trust issues you could be suffering from issues from the past if this is the keep, I keep hearing mother stuff too because of the empress. So it could even be that some of our inner child wounding, some of the things that have caged us in here that we're, we're blocking are actually things that it's hardships that we've been holding on to that we have refused to let go of. And this may actually be stopping peace. This is where that forgiveness card came in too because it's talking about if you want reunion with someone, if you want to experience love with someone, if you want your world to have a little bit more innocence, is what I heard, we need to use the tools available to us and let go of the past and let go of what's hardening us and kind of return back a little bit to our innocence and take those steps forward to what appeals to us. The towers in the reverse here, the knight of cups, the hermit in the reverse. Feel like it did nothing's going to change unless we get out of our own head. Nothing's going to change unless we start excuse me, offering our heart. And when I was talking about this head over heart 
This guy's holding a brain. This is the Knight of Cups. So if you are connected to a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, or you have that in your chart, or you're thinking about offering your love to somebody, okay, know that now is a really great time, or again, coming towards the spring, this also could be you're finding out really wonderful news that's bringing you into a more happy, um, and I heard brave alignment. So I feel it's really super important to remind you guys here that this Six of Coins, that abundance is here for you with the Six of Cups. This is financial and stability, wealth, be it financial or just you have wealthy Ness. okay so there is a song i heard on the radio today by blake shelton called minimum wage and that you can feel rich on minimum wage well this is the kind of love that's being created when we drop the burdens of the past and just let change come and make the right choices for ourselves and pay attention to what we're building you're going to be calling in what's in alignment for you and with the six of coins and the six of cups it could be a past life thing even here with this two of cups so just take it how it applies the last card i'm going to leave you guys with is a message from the keepers of the light oracle moving forward we get mercury and open communication it says, get a weight off your chest, speak up with love, and be heard. If you want to tell someone how you feel, go ahead, tell them, now's the time. You know, um, keep an open heart. If the feelings aren't reciprocated, everyone still likes to know that they're loved. And if they are, this is even more bonus. But what we need to do is drop the fear of rejection, because when we do that, we're, we're already setting ourselves up to thinking we're getting rejected, okay? So releasing an attachment to outcome here, releasing the mental conflict, moving with our heart, and being true and being authentic in who we are while expressing our innate feminine power. And I think this is also like if you're a woman, this is being very comfortable in your feminine identity with your intuition and your creative powers. And I feel like if this is you are masculine, really connecting you to maybe more of your emotional body, more of your feminine qualities, maybe more of your feminine powers, and this releasing of duality, realizing that you are a perfect balance of masculine and feminine within you. We want to come whole, come with communication, as well as there's another two people, come two people with communication. Um... But open communication. So whatever's on your chest, let it out. Get that weight off it, my friends. That's what I have for you guys. I love you all, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.